I don't even have an intro set up. Every video I've had an intro so far. This one I don't. I got my water pipe though. That's for afterwards. <sighs> All right, let's do this. That is a DaVinci IQ. That is not the DaVinci IQ. That is a knockoff we just got off of DHgate for 50 something dollars. You'll notice a little bit of difference in the consistency of the metal there. We're gonna get into that more. But first, let's talk about these boxes. Look exactly the same, surprisingly well. There's a few things you can notice there though. I've, one thing I picked up right away is the image on the side looks completely different. I don't know why they messed that one up so bad. The rest of the outer of the box looks great. Front looks spot on. Other sides look spot on. The backs, they look very cool. The only thing missing is, of course, the real one has a serial number. This guy over here, and they conveniently forgot that. So two things to notice on that box. Image, serial number. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Now, you notice this box looks a little bit shinier. This is the fake one here. They look almost exactly the same. However, this one has more of a soft matte finish. This one is kind of smooth and just feels like more of a cheaper cardboard. I also noticed on this box right here, there's this inner piece that was falling off. You can see the glue in between it, which is pretty shoddy design, especially compared to the regular box. Who would expect a, a counterfeiter to uh, do a bad job, right? Let's get those open. Let's take a look at those stickers. I'm just going to go through this piece by piece. The manual's way different look. You can see the actual manual, the real manual, is much more brighter orange. This one's a lighter color. I went through this manual earlier. It's word for word is this one. Everything in there is the same. It talks about the Bluetooth app, blah, blah, blah. I it looks like they just pulled out um, a, a copier and just did it word for word. So yeah, I guess you could say they did a good job on the manual. Underneath, accessory packaging is pretty much spot on. Let's pull those apart, see what we got in there. I'm just going to make a pile. That's the real stuff over here. Put some fake stuff over here. So what should we look at first? Let's look at the carry can. So that is our deliciously fake carrying can. This is our real one. Obvious color difference there. Actually very obvious. It also looks like, oh uh, yeah. The legit one unscrews from the top, makes sense. It's got a little uh, grommet there, a little rubber grommet to keep it airtight. This one unscrews from the bottom. Feels lighter too, I just noticed that. Way more pain in the butt to unscrew too. Jeez, that's a lot of turns. Just trying to get to your herbs, you know? So there we go, we got those. Let's look at the water adapter. Now, something I noticed with all these pieces, uh, according to Da Vinci's website, these are made out of zirconia ceramic. I, I hope I'm saying that right. I had to look it up a few times. They're, these pieces, to me, they look and feel like they're just made out of straight ceramic. I could be wrong about that. I don't have a materials list. Counterfeiters usually don't provide those for you. But you can obviously see a difference this one has more divine, the real one has more defined corners, better edges. This one, there's definitely a difference in material there. That's for sure. As far as these silicone pieces go, eh, they look pretty, pretty darn similar. If you put two side by side and said, pick out the real one and pick out the fake one, I would never be able to tell you. So let's get those out of the way. Take a look at those accessories. Let's just dump it out there. Boom generic brush 
Poker Charger. Wow, look how close that looks. I would argue that that's the same charger. Cleaning wipes look the same. The only thing that really looks different here is the cleaning tool, the keychain. So everything else here, we're just going to get out of here because I don't think they would ever help you tell the difference between a real one and a fake one. These guys right here, do I don't think we really need to point out the differences. One's clearly a different color. I noticed earlier on the pokers, the fake pokers have kind of a rounded edge to it where these ones look to be more of a laser cut They, as these look to be pressed. You can see a difference. It's a very minute difference, and unless you stare at these for hours, you probably would never be able to tell. Let's get those over there. All right, the entree. Here we go. Stickers on the back look identical. Very, very similar look to them. If you saw these from a distance, if you didn't know a lot about the IQ, you would probably think this knockoff is the legit one. This is the knockoff for keeping it on this side, just to be clear. One thing I did notice is the buttons on the side. The fake ones protrude more, just a little bit more. I don't know if that's true for all units, but it's true for mine. Also, the buttons are a lot muddier. If I don't know quite how to explain it, but it's a little bit harder to turn on. The other one comes on with a little bit faster vibration sound. Kind of eerily similar when you actually look at the two side-by-side -side charging. Let's get that temperature up. There we go. So really, immediately looking at it, there's not a whole lot that indicates that this is a fake vaporizer. Other than the protruding buttons, just with a quick glance, you would never be able to tell. Button operation is exactly the same. Everything works just like it should on the, the legit version. Let's pull this open. Something I did notice right here, the, the magnets feel drastically cheaper. This guy. So it pops out pretty easy. Again, with the materials, we have the zirconia ceramic top piece versus what I believe to be pretty much a straight ceramic top piece. There's a bit of a color difference. This is more of a darker black. This kind of has more of a, a gunmetal tint to it, I guess. This piece, when you look at it at the right light angle, I probably won't be able to show it on camera, but there's a bit of, it, it looks like the ceramic is just rippled a little bit. Definitely a difference in quality in these parts here. Moving on. One thing that really jumped out at me and kind of frightened me a little bit, to be honest, is the flavor chambers. Now, the flavor, they don't look that different from a distance, but once you really get close to there, you notice there's a little bit of splotches on the fake piece. And this one here is at least marketed as 100% zirconia ceramic. This one, I have no idea what the materials are. However, it looks like it was spray painted. It, it truly does, which is, this is something that gets hot and it's in your direct air path. And that's probably not a good idea. That's not something you're going to want that close to your airflow. The other thing I noticed is the edges up here a little bit sharper. This one here, it looks a little bit nicer stamped, a little bit more defined little sharper on top. Now, as far as batteries go, the fake one did not come with a battery. So we got nothing to talk about there. Whoops, see that? Got them backwards. Did you know I got them backwards? I couldn't tell. It's close, man. It's really close. There's a lot of things in here. You know, you see a little laziness in the design. Like if you look at the battery port, there's just an open gap there that probably, oh, well, maybe it should be there. Who knows? Let's check out that bottom real quick. Yeah, the magnet on the fake one, you notice too, if I just flick these, flick these hinges around, this one's a lot looser. It's not a tight fit like you get with the IQ. See, 
just that versus just little quality things you see everywhere. Uh, the pearl also has a different color consistency on it. That leads me to believe they're not the same. Maybe they borrowed their molds in China or something like that, but they're clearly not the same materials. The chambers and the loading area looks surprisingly similar. I, I would not be shocked if there's um, OEM parts in, in the counterfeit version, unfortunately. The chambers themselves look about the same. I see no difference. It's a shelf part, so it's not a hard part to source. There we go. So, just to recap, things to look for. The box is a lot shittier. That was the dead giveaway for us. The vaporizer itself, the parts feel looser. They're just a little bit more wobbly. The one thing I did notice about this fake guy, in its user manual, it still mentions that it can connect to the app. It gives you instructions on how to connect it. It does not connect to the app. That doesn't mean future ones will not work with the DaVinci app. PAX, it's always been known that the, the knockoff PAX vaporizers do not work with the, the App Store app for PAX. That's no longer true. Newer versions of the counterfeits are being sold as working with the app. Uh, there's even third-party knockoff apps that are trying to be created and, and submitted to the App Store that, that'll work with these types of vaporizers. For now, they don't connect. They're, I don't think there's a Bluetooth in there, but that doesn't mean that's always going to be the case. And there you have it. There's your fake guy. That's the one I brought with me. Oh, I like to keep a DaVinci around before I heat it up. Got me a freshly packed bowl. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Press five to turn it on. Let's get it all the way up since I got a water pipe on me. This one, I don't think I'm using. I mean, I, 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 I'm not, I, like, I have a collection of counterfeit vaporizers. It doesn't mean I always want to try them out. It's fun to have in, in your, uh, on your shelf. It doesn't mean it's something you actually want to hit. You know, this vaporizer, as soon as we're done here, I'm writing the word fake on it. It's going to sit in a shelf and it's going to be cool to look at. I'm going to have it part of my collection of fake vaporizers I get to brag about, but will I use it? No, never. Almost heated. I'll speed this part up. There we go.